Meaning of True Love, Part 1. A Walk in the Park. In the heart of the city, a serene park stretched out beneath the afternoon sun. The soft rustling of leaves and the gentle hum of people strolling or sitting on benches filled the air. Birds chirped, and the distant sound of children laughing echoed as a light breeze rustled the trees. Amid the tranquility, Emma and Jack strolled side by side, their steps in sync with each other, though their thoughts were preoccupied with a much deeper topic. They had been friends for years, but today's conversation had a different weight to it. Both had been grappling with their own ideas of love, and as they walked through the park, the peacefulness of their surroundings gave them the perfect setting to finally speak about it. Jack, have you ever wondered what love really means? I don't just mean the romantic butterflies in your stomach feeling. I'm talking about the deeper kind of love, the kind that lasts. What do you think true love is? You've been thinking about that a lot lately, haven't you? I guess, for me, true love is about commitment, even when things get tough. It's about standing by someone through everything. What's made you start thinking about it? I don't know. Maybe seeing so many relationships around me start off strong but fall apart in the end. It's made me question what real love looks like. Do you think love is supposed to be easy? No, definitely not. I think love's supposed to challenge you. If it were easy all the time, it wouldn't be real. It's about growth, not comfort. What about you? What do you think makes love true? I think it's about acceptance, not just of the good parts of someone, but the hard parts too. We all have flaws, but love means seeing those flaws and still staying. Do you think that's enough? Question, Jack, if you had to choose, what's the most important element of true love? A. Loyalty B. Passion C. Understanding Answer C. Understanding I'd say understanding is the foundation of true love, option C. Without it, you're just loving an image of someone. True love means truly knowing who they are, what makes them happy, what scares them, and still loving them anyway. I completely agree. Love can't just be about the good stuff. It has to include the tough times too, the hard truths. They continued their walk, passing by a group of children playing by the pond, their laughter light and carefree. The sun was setting, casting a golden hue over the park, making the scene feel almost timeless. Jack picked up a small rock and tossed it into the pond, watching the ripples spread out. Do you think people are scared of true love because it's not as glamorous as they imagine? Everyone talks about romance, but they don't talk about the hard work that comes with it. Definitely. We're raised on stories of perfect love, but the reality is so different. Love isn't just a feeling, it's a choice you make every day. And it's not always easy. Have you ever felt like you've experienced that kind of love? I think I've come close, but I've always held back. Maybe it's fear, or maybe I just wasn't ready to open up completely. Vulnerability is terrifying but I know it's necessary for love. What about you? Have you been in love? I thought I was once, but looking back, I'm not so sure.
I think I was more in love with the idea of love than the actual person, but now I realize that love goes beyond the initial spark. Question. Emma, what do you think is the hardest part about love? A. Being vulnerable. B. Keeping the excitement alive. C. Trusting someone fully. Answer A. Being vulnerable. I think the hardest part is being vulnerable. Option A. It's scary to let someone in completely, to show them all the messy parts of who you are. But without vulnerability, I don't think love can be genuine. I completely agree. Vulnerability is scary, but it's also what makes love real. Without it, you're just going through the motions, not actually connecting. The sun was now low in the sky, casting long shadows across the park as the air grew cooler. They found a bench and sat down, watching the world slowly transition into twilight. I think that's what I've been missing in my relationships, real vulnerability. I've always been scared of showing too much, scared that the other person wouldn't stay if they saw all of me. I think a lot of people feel that way, Emma. But the thing is, true love isn't about hiding. It's about showing your whole self and trusting that the other person will stay. That's what makes it so powerful. You're right, but trust is hard, especially when you've been hurt before. Question, what do you think is the key to maintaining love over time? A. Trust B. Communication C. Patience Answer. A. Trust. I think trust is the key, option A. Without trust, love falls apart. You have to believe that the other person will be there for you, no matter what. And you have to trust yourself, too, that you're enough for them. Yeah. Trust is everything. Without it, you're constantly second-guessing. But it's fragile, isn't it? Once it's broken, it's so hard to rebuild. It is. But if both people are willing to work at it, trust can be rebuilt. It just takes time and patience. Love, real love, isn't about perfection. It's about growth, together. As the day slowly faded into night, the park emptied out, leaving them alone under the dimming streetlights. There was a comfortable silence between them, filled with the weight of everything they had shared. I'm glad we had this conversation, Jack. It's helped me realize that love isn't just about finding the perfect person. It's about finding someone who's willing to go through all the ups and downs with you. I'm glad, too. Love isn't a fairy tale, but it's worth it. And I think we're both closer to understanding what we really want from it. Who knows, maybe we'll both find that kind of love one day. Maybe, or maybe we already have, and we just don't realize it yet. They shared a quiet, knowing look before walking out of the park, side by side, their thoughts lingering on the meaning of true love. As they walked into the night, the conversation they had shared about love stayed with them, a quiet reminder that true love is a journey, not a destination. Five words and phrases related to the theme of meaning of true love. Part 1. Walk in the Park. Vulnerability. The willingness to open up and show your true self despite the fear of rejection. 
Trust, the foundation of any lasting relationship built on faith and reliability. Commitment, the decision to stay together even when things aren't perfect. Growth, love should encourage both individuals to become better versions of themselves. Acceptance, true love involves embracing both the good and flawed parts of another person.